hip flexion, abduction, and external rotation. This lower extremity pattern is a natural genetic pattern that is developed as infants learn to crawl and move up to standing and eventually walking. When we walk, anterior elevation of the pelvis along with flexion, abduction, and external rotation of the hip and ankle dorsiflexion and supination of the foot create the swing phase of gait. Lie on your back with head and neck supported. Bring one knee up towards your chest into hip flexion hip adduction, and hip external rotation. Dorsiflex your ankle and supinate your foot. To dorsiflex the ankle, lift the top of the foot up towards your shin. Then tilt the foot so the big toe is higher than the little toe to supinate the foot. Take your opposite hand and place the heel of your hand on the top inside aspect of your knee. Apply a very light traction force up towards the ceiling. Don't push forward on the knee. Don't wrap your fingers over the knee. Keep the fingers spread and pointing upward where the traction force is going. Don't push the knee forward and with a lot of force. Use a very light traction force upward. It should feel like there is not a lot happening. If the force is too hard or you're pushing forward on the knee, the hip flexors will kick in, which we don't want. We want a light traction force so the deep abdominal muscles activate, the green arrow, and not the superficial hip flexors, the red arrow. If your superficial hip flexors on the front of your thigh continue to activate, place your heel on an elevated surface in order to deactivate them so you can concentrate on activating the deep abdominals instead.